Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's going to be a practice video for um, a speech. It's Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream from the 20th, uh, sorry, 28th of August, 1963. Obviously, as you guys know, it's about me hitting uh, the right emphasis on the right words at the right time. And now I think we'll just begin so I'm gonna run it through a few times practice my English and well that's basically what this video is about so <clears throat> I say to you today my friends that in spite of the difficulty but let's take that over because I can hear how it changed my voice I say to you today, my friends, that in spite of the difficulties and frustrations of the moment, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at a table of brotherhood. I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by their color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the snow-caped rookies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous peaks of California. And when we let freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet from every state and every city we will be able to speed up that day when all of god's children black men and white men jews and gentiles protestants and catholic catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old negro spiritual free at last free at last thank god almighty we are free at last. Hmm. All right. So this word, I always get it wrong in my head. Instead of saying Catholics, I always want to say Catholics. So it's Catholics. Uh, village was another one that I need to emphasize more, and I need to stay the same voice throughout the entire speech. So. Uh, I had a mixture right there from like being more formal to being less formal, right? Uh, so like being when I would speak like this and then being, oh, well, I would speak like this and I would go, this is a YouTube video, guys. Hello. Uh, instead, I'm, I'm trying to become more of like down to earth, speak like my own voice, speak like this. And well, it does become more um, less formal, sound like I have more fun. So let's give it another go. And... Going less formal, not so YouTube-ish. I say to you today, my friends, that in spite of the difficulties and frustrations of the moment, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at a table of brotherhood. I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. 
Let the freedom ring from the snow-caped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous peaks of California. And when we let freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Uh, so, I don't like that, I think that was uh, a little bit too loose, I think I need to have more of a character, uh, more formal, especially these parts, I don't, f I don't feel um, the pressure right there in terms of how important this actually is so let's give it another go i say to you today my friends that in spite of the difficulties and frustrations of the moment i still have a dream it is a dream deeply rooted in the american dream i have a dream that one day on the red hills of georgia the the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at a table of brotherhood. I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the snow-caped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous peaks of California. And when we let freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Hmm. Uh, I think we're, I'm going to a little bit too fast. Uh, I'm going to give it a try where I slow down a lot. Um, and try to be even more formal. After all, it is a speech. Hmm. I say to you today, my friends, that in spite of the difficulties and frustrations of the moment, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at a table of brotherhood. I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the snow-caped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous peaks of California. And when we let freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual.
free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Mm. I think that's much better. I can definitely feel that I'm not, uh, it's not a text that I've written myself. I can definitely feel that. And that just means that it's much harder for me to actually feel, um, I wouldn't necessarily say comfortable, but the some of the, Pra um, the phrases is something that I probably wouldn't write and it feels weird to me that I have to say it this way um, nonetheless I think that's gonna be it for today's video so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time